I would sell my house and I would sell my kids future house just to come back here next year. It, this place is amazing. The BrewCon is a very collaborative conference, there's a lot of knowledge exchange happening. So I think even if you're a participant, you get to like have a lot of interactions with people, which is not true for all conferences. What I like about conferences is it's in Ghent and you have the nice atmosphere of the nice buildings. The atmosphere is really nice. A lot of people from other countries join here, you meet other people and you also have workshops, which is really nice to, to earn some education uh, during this conference. I got to attend different workshops today. It was really good. They give you sort of hands-on practical experience with some of the different things people talk about, like Python templating for your own skill sets, or there was a threat intelligence workshop this morning. Pedram and I came about uh, 2014, and then when we saw there was a call for Capture the Flag, uh, we'd been doing some capture the flag development, focusing more on the European, what we perceived as the European skill sets and, and demographics. So that was quite a lot of fun, um, and we'll do that in the future for other conferences as well. It's been like two decades since I played those things, and you know, at some point you think like, you grew older and these things don't fit in your life. And then you come back and you think you're learning new stuff, talking with new people and suddenly you find all these retro games and you're like, I mean like you talk with guys who you think like you had nothing in common, okay? And suddenly you see the same person playing the same retro game and it's like, hey, I used to play that as a kid, let's do a challenge. And then you find like there are a lot of things in common. I used to own a PlayStation 1 like we played, so there's a certain feeling of nostalgia into it. And also just because I was better than him. I didn't have a PlayStation when I was younger, so he had like, he was a more, one more step ahead of me. So we want to do something special next to the badge, which has an alcohol sensor to it. We actually developed our own beer. We let it be develop and it's a, a company who did that and we want to make sure that it has 10% of alcohol for a 10th edition. It's, it's, it's pretty hard, so we recommend not to drink too much in one shot or one time, but it's, it's a very enjoyable beer. And you don't really taste the whiskey that much, you'll taste a very agreeable beer, so it's fun. Mm -hmm. 